Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just looking at my hair, sorry. Um, I'm loving my baby hair. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you a quick review of my hair products I've been loving over the past couple of months that I haven't been really, really um, uploading videos because I'm pregnant. But um, I want to show you guys some products. Let me just put this here. Some products that I've been loving. Um, you guys must know about this product. It's Wild Growth. I'm trying this out because I can't take Infinity. Um, the only thing I can take is pregnancy tablets, which got a little bit of biotin in it. But um, in the meantime, while I can't take Infinity or any kind of hair growth tablets, um, I'm taking. I'm going to be using this. Wild growth oil. Um, they have two different types. There's a yellow one and a white one, but I'm using a white one. Someone on YouTube um, recommended this one, and I'm doing the greenhouse effect sometimes with my hair. So I put this in, and I'll just twist my hair up. Um, I put like a steam cap on. Let me show you. I've got this nice steam cap. Put that on my head, and I'll just leave that on for like two hours or so. Um, one day I actually left it on all day and my hair, when I took it off, my hair was just still soft and moist. This is just like second day hair anyway, so um, I'll tell you what products I used to achieve this look. Um, I've been using Curls Unleashed by Organic Root Stimulator and they have some great products. So I'll be right back to show you guys the product days. So if you guys have been watching any of my other previous videos, you saw that I've been using C as well in my hair. And, and this is very good. It grew out my edges back because when I had a Marley twist and kinky, kinky twist, they really, really pulled out my hair because I've got mixed race hair and it's quite fine. I've got like, I've got a mixture of three different types of hair on my head. I've got 3B, 3C and 4A hair. So, you know, it is a nightmare to keep my hair and um, get my hair thick. I've been using castor oil, Jamaican castor oil, and um, I've been using this, which is the good concoction. But yeah, as you can see, it's done. It's only a little bit left, so I'm taking my time before I've completely finished that. But um, I'm going to, so that's why I went out and bought this actually. You know, just have back up for now. Because Teacher Performance is not cheap, it's like £15 or more. You know, it depends on where you can get it. And the um, wire growth oil is like five ninety nine six pounds, so it's a, you know, it's way cheaper. So I'm just gonna use that in the meantime until I can buy another um, tea triple bossy. So let me show you the curls on leash stuff I've been using. I know I'm a bit short, as not I? Um, I've been using this one, coconut and honey hair milk, and this is what I put in my hair. Um, when I came out of the bathroom, I used like a leave-in conditioner and I've got the um, Curl, Curls and Leash Intense Hair Conditioner which has sage and kiwi in there and it's good for restructive hair treatment. It's like a hair treatment and you can wash it out or leave it in. But um, I left mine in, you know, um, and it's for natural hair. So this is what it looks like. Sage and kiwi. And... Um, yeah, so I put that in after um, when I was doing my wash and go, and after that I applied my hair milk, and then Organic Roots Limit is really, really doing good um, nowadays. Um, I've got these three oils from ORS, um, and this one is a tea tree oil. You can try that out, it's really good. It's got tea tree and rosemary oil, peppermint oil and coconut oil in there. So one oil got stuff mixed with it. So it's really, really good. Um, I've got the ahoba oil one. And this one's for damage and repair. And this one has sandalwood oil and just ahoba oil. So that's good enough for me. That one's good. You can try that out. Um, and I've got the coconut oil one. I think I've got another one actually. I've got a castor oil one, I think. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, this coconut oil one has hibiscus oil and neem oil, which is very good. So, what I've done, after I applied my hair milk, I made a concoction with all three of these. Mixed it up with my hands and I applied them 
to my roots all the way down to my ends because I found that sometimes when I don't moisturize my whole hair, my hair gets dry easily. So I have to moisturize my ends, for them to be curly and, and cute like this, or else they'll be really, really dry. So after all that, what I done is applied some gel. And I did I only used a little bit, and this gel is beautiful. It's like a purpley kind of color gel. Um take the top off, actually. It's a mad color, but it's really it's like a lilac color gel. Um, and this is the this is the, kind of the packet, the, the, the jar. This is curl boosting jelly, and I really, really love it. It's crunch free, curl definition, and it's got aloe vera and honey. I really, really like this, guys. I am in love with it. I don't use too much of it because I do not want it to run out. Um, also, um, I don't want my hair to be too crunchy because my hair is thin. I'm trying to make it still have body like this, but you know, with a little bit of hold for my curls and the definition. So yeah, this is all the stuff that I use to achieve this wash and go. And um, if you guys want a tutorial of me showing you how to do actual wash and go, like an actual wash and go, on you know video for you, I can do that. It's not a problem. Um, you can just comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see that. So. This is just a little look of my wash and go. I've got a lot of photos I put on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can see, you know, the results of this wash and go. This is second day hair, so um, I'm loving it. I'm loving this wash and go. It's really, really cute, and it's light, and it's got great definition. And I'll be posting some on my Facebook page. If you want to follow me on my Facebook. The Facebook. That's a new one. Facebook. Yeah, if you want to follow me on my Facebook page, it is Natural Hair and Beauty by Georgia Lee, and my Instagram is Hair and Beauty by Georgia Lee. So follow me on any of them if you want, and you can see how we'll get these cute looks. And also keep it up to date with me on my pregnancy vlog and updates. And um, I'll see you guys again soon. Remember to comment and let me know if you'd like to see me do a wash and go and any more makeup tutorials. I really like this makeup actually. My eyebrows on fleek. If you like it. If you'd like another tutorial as well, let me know. Anyways, have a good day guys and have a good weekend and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace. <laughs>